keep it simple phone tech here i've got the galaxy note 8 which now has android pi the beta version and we're going to talk a little bit about the highlights now, this is android 9.0 the beta version and you can expect to see basically the same sort of features um, if not identically on these phones as well as the note 8 this video won't go into excruciating detail of all of the changes that comes with Android 9, but we will cover at least the highlights, the things that are most obvious to you. I should point out that along with Android 9, Samsung has also included their new user interface, which they call Samsung One. And if you want to learn a little bit more about Samsung UI, you can Google Samsung One UI and then find this link here. It'll tell you a little bit more. If you're feeling really ambitious, you can go ahead and type all of that in that you see on the screen there. So with the combination of Android 9, this beta version, and the Samsung One, just think in terms of simplicity and color. So you're going to see those two themes throughout. And so simplicity, for example, the icons, the, like the Samsung proprietary icons, like your phone icon, your camera icon. Just take a look at those two. Let me zoom in and go down just a little bit. They don't even have names. So just very simple. You can tell that simplifying usage is a very big deal as far as the layout for both the Android Pie and the Samsung One. Um, another example is as far as the simplicity and color. If you pull down the notification shade, the size of the icons have increased. So you notice here it's very easy to tell what's what. You also have your time front and center, the date very easy to find. You've got your brightness slider down here. Um, you've got options to be able to change the buttons as well and you can also add you see that there we can do so and now you've got the five by three grid versus the grid that i had before but again you're talking about simplicity i'm going to keep using this word over and over again it's easy to make sense of where you're at it's easy to make sense of where you're trying to go if you go into the settings again Front and center, settings. There's no mystery as to where you're at. And then you have the various subheadings within settings, as well as colorful icons to help reinforce what section you're going into. Okay, so now let's get a little bit more specific. As we talk about some more of the highlights, we'll talk about color. Talk about the always on display here for just a moment. On the always on display, you have more options for the type of clock that you want than what you used to. So if we zoom in here, we go to lock screen and then to clock style, and you'll have two options that you'll see. Always on display is to change your clock style there, and then lock screen, you can also change the lock style. And you'll have different options you'll see for the type of clock that you have, more so than what you had on Android Oreo, Android 8. So you have many different clocks to choose from, clock styles, and you'll see their type, and you'll see just barely color. If you tap on color, well now you have several options to choose from in order to be able to select different colors. And if you come here and choose lock screen, same thing. You'll have options for the lock screen, different clocks, and then also you can alter the color. So let's go ahead, I'll make this selection here. And if you take a look, slightly different shade. Let me select a different color there. And you'll see it being extra colorful there, just like what I selected. And when you're done, you'll see you're always on display. And then you'll see your lock screen, the selections that you made there for your clock and its color. Here's another highlight. Now, you've got this option. You'll notice here that there's no traditional navigation bars 
or navigation buttons, your back button, your recent apps button, and your home button. Instead, you've got these navigation lines, for lack of a better term for them. And in this case, what you do is you swipe up. So this would be your home, and swiping up would take you back home. This would be your back, and you have the choice to have your back button to be either on this side or this side. You swipe up, that'll take you back. And this would be your recent app button, which this one will actually see work. So when you swipe up, then you have your recent apps. And in the past in Android 8, you had this sort of Rolodex deal to where you would swipe through all of your recent apps and then you can just swipe across to get rid of them. But now they're basically listed one by one like so. You go left and right and to get rid of them, you swipe up. So that's another new thing here, and I think that's kind of neat as well. Another highlight. And if you prefer to have a more traditional navigation bar, you can go into settings, into display, and then scroll down until you find navigation bar and tap on that. You'll see the option for navigation buttons, and you'll have two choices as to whether you want your back button on the left side or on the right side, the Samsung way. Check this out, by the way. Again, simplicity. Navigation bar, you know exactly where you're at. Just a few more things we'll talk about here. In the notification shade, you now have a night mode. So you tap on that and the screen goes black. And so you'll have that option there in the settings and in various places throughout. Your screen is black, so make it a little bit easier for you to read your screen at night in the dark. Very minor call out in the upper left corner. Now you have the time. You can see that. It used to be over here. Minor detail. And this is new. If you turn the phone to landscape mode on the home screen, you will get all of your icons to go into landscape mode. And this is new. If you turn the phone to landscape mode on the home screen, you will get all of your icons to go into landscape mode. If you're using the stylus, not really much has changed here, at least from what I've noticed so far. So you still have basically the same options there. It's just the icons look a little bit different. And then Samsung Notes, for you to create a note, that screen looks a little bit different as well. But again, basically the same thing you've got going on here. Nothing really new. Samsung Note 8. If you go to view all of your notes from here, you'll just see that this interface, this page, looks a little bit different from what it did on Android Oreo. Nothing really dramatic, but a change nevertheless. Oh, and once again, front and center, you know exactly where you're at. The page that contains all of your notes. If you go into the My Files icon, it's basically the same setup. Again, just emphasis is color, and they try to call things out with the color, make it pop a little bit more so, make it easier to know, again, where you're at, and your options within there. If you go into the My Files icon, it's basically the same setup. Again, just emphasis is color, and they try to call things out with the color, make it pop a little bit more so, make it easier to know, again, where you're at and your options within there. I haven't really had much of a chance to mess with Bixby for the whole time I've had this phone. Um, the Bixby layout has changed. And so now you've got this sort of dark background. And I mean, you at the same time, you've got some of these same cards that you did with Bixby before. It's supposed to be more interactive as well as more intu intuitive with the use, but I haven't really messed with it yet. So I'm presuming changes are for the better. Again, if you're not familiar with Bixby, it's sort of like a Google Assistant or an Alexa or a Siri. But it's Samsung's version, and it's supposed to be really, really good or really improved now to go along with Samsung One and Android 9. Perhaps once I get a chance to mess with it a little bit more, I'll do a separate video on that. And you still have the Edge panel. There's really nothing huge and different about the Edge panel. Um, it's about the same. I personally think it's redundant, so I often forget that it's there. 
You've got a settings for it down here. If you select that, you can select from all the different edge panels. If you don't want an edge panel at all, of course, you can just turn it off and it'll get rid of the little edge dealio there and you can go on about your business. So nothing really huge to talk about there. It's basically about the same thing. And that's that. So in conclusion, Android 9 Beta for Samsung Note 8, and then the other phones that go along with it once it receives a Android 9 official update, plus that Samsung One UI, simplicity and color. I'm trying to make the experience a lot easier for the customer to be able to navigate their phone, to be able to enjoy their phone. Hope this video was helpful to you. Again, this is Keep It Simple Phone Tech, and thanks for watching.